Welcome back to the monthly Q&A video about reselling. My name is Alina. I am a reseller and I create content to help you on your reselling journey on Poshmark. I have answers to 15 controversial and frequently asked questions today and let's get started. The first question is, I am new to Poshmark and I'm struggling to sell my first item. What am I doing wrong? I uh, listed 25 items so far, but no action. Uh, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. It's difficult to get your sales going, especially if you sell items uh, from your own closet, as you only have specific sizes and styles. So unless you have a really desirable items like designer items, but I digress from the main focus, list as many items as you can today. List items every, every day. Um, Consistency is key and I'm sure you have heard this repeatedly, but the algorithm will favor your closet if it's actively doing something, whether it's uh, posting, sharing, uh, sending offers to people who like your items. Why do I have to constantly share mine and other Pasha's closet? I see no action and only sold seven items so far in a few months. I have no time for this. I'm a single mom of two. Well, um, I know this is time consuming, but having a good amount of items in your closet will give your customers plenty of choices to shop. So I'd say 100 and 150 items is a good amount to have which uh, together with sharing your closet at least three to five times a day will bring in more sales. I mean, uh, this is a highly interactive site. So what you do is sharing, sharing, making yourself known to others. And um, while they will share back, they will see your items and possibly purchase. It will take some time to get it off the ground. And I remember my uh, my very first sale, I had it when I posted my items and I had my first one after one month. I think at that time I had posted 20 or 30 items. I can't remember, honestly. Poshmark is a very interactive site where uh, sharing will bring your items to the top of the feed. And if somebody is searching for what you have to offer, your shared item will show first when you share it, of course. On the other hand, this is very time consuming, but you have three options uh, that I know of. Share your closet yourself when you get the chance, but share it. <laughs> or um, uh, you get one of those automatic sharing bots um, that share for you, which is frowned upon by Poshmark, um, which is why 90% of the Poshers have it. <laughs> yeah, well, um, or uh, hire a virtual assistant that uh, will cost money, of course. And a side note, a sharing over 10,000 listings in 24 hours can land you in Poshmark jail for a day or two. It's not that bad. Although I uh, don't see how they could know. It's probably the pattern the robot is sharing at. So be careful with that. That means your closet will be shut down, but it will, it will come back. So um, I'm not advising you to get it. Just uh, letting you know about it. Mm. <laughs> Here's another question for you. How many followers do I need on Poshmark to start making sales? I would say um, I started making sales at around 100,000 followers, but it's not a rule. I'm talking about constant sales. Um, I did not have very desirable items. I did not figure out uh, what I have to do, how to list, how to price things until later. But one thing I did constantly was um, sharing my closet and following other partners. Somehow I knew this is the most important thing to get yourself noticed. But later on, I started uh, researching about tips and tricks, what brands to look for um, and to look out for when thrifting and uh, selling strategies. By the way, I will link some of those videos at the end. Uh, you might want to take a look about the selling strategies that will have you sell at least one item a day. If you have a good amount of followers or uh, a good amount of listings, um, so people who browse your closet um, can have something to choose from. Next question, um, what are the bins and what to expect when shopping there? Mm. The Goodwill bins is simply the Goodwill clearance center uh, where Goodwill sends all the items that did not sell over a certain period of time of being displayed in their stores. 
the bins are the last stop for the thrift goods um, after which whatever is left it's getting dumped in the landfills which is so bad for the environment you can google goodwill clearance center to uh, find the bins locations near you this is what i did word of advice take a mask a pair of gloves a fanny pack or a small crossbody bag to keep your personal belongings close and uh, have your hands free to dig through mounds of clothes and shoes and most important of all patience and courage <laughs> i am saying courage because some people can be a little pushy and aggressive so don't get scared of that just stand aside until you get the hang of things and um, just dig through whatever is um, available and wait for other people to finish. There's plenty for everybody. If you've never been to the bins and you don't know how it looks like and what it is, um, here's a picture for you just to see how it looks like, but um, all the locations are different, um, I think. They have one thing in common though, uh, there are bins with mounds of clothes just thrown in there and you have to dig. That's why, like I mentioned earlier, get a pair of gloves at least and a mask and uh, something to keep your belongings and have uh, leave your hands free to dig through the clothes. Question number five, how do you know what to source for when you're thrifting? Having an organized inventory actually may help you decide at first glance which of the categories of inventory is your lowest. Um, for example, I keep my inventory in clear bins, uh, dresses in one bin, jeans separately in another bin, uh, tops, pants on the shelves. Uh, sweaters and jackets in another bin. Uh, I can see just by looking at the bins which one needs to be refilled and which one is bursting at the seams. I also look at my monthly sales and see what's sold. I'm not always accurate when picking up what I need because um, I never know what treasures I find in the thrift store, but I try to keep my cost of goods low and I only pick up things that I know will make at least least 20 to 25 dollars profit why some poshers list their items at ridiculously low prices there can be a number of reasons uh, moving sales uh, getting rid of stale inventory getting more eyes on their closet because this can be a good strategy of old inventory selling new inventory or they have very low cost of goods thrifting at the bins actually can keep a uh, cost of goods really low as Things are sold by the pound and it's never more than $2 per pound. So uh, if you have a few light tops, the cost of goods can be really low, like pennies. Um, and reselling one desirable items that you find, maybe you find the designer items, can pay for the whole thrifting trip. Do you use the suggested price when listing? It depends if it feels right or not, um, especially for brands that I already know and have sold in the past. I double check sold comps if the item I post um, is new or a quirky style that seems unique or special. And if I think that the item is worth more than the suggested price, then I will uh, check on Google or eBay or Google Lens or just take a picture of the item and uh, use Google Photo. When did you start thrifting and what is your strategy when you are thrifting? I started when I sold a bundle of two hoodies and uh, I think they were from J. Crew. And the buyer asked me if I have something similar in other colors because they really loved it. I remember the feeling of having sold an item was such an amazing accomplishment. Plus, I was thinking, wait, if I got something um, for this, if I got my money back, then I can do it again. And that's how I got hooked and motivated. Two years later, the feeling is still there, let me tell you. Every time I make a sale, I do a little happy dance in my head. <laughs> My strategy is to research what I pick up, check for imperfections right there in the store, and do not get more than 10 items at a time. I'm trying to avoid clutter as it can happen really, really fast. Um, if you don't keep things under control, <laughs> best advice I can give you, do not go thrifting until you sell a certain amount of items. 
keep your inventory under control and well organized from early on. And I will link um, a video of um, how I keep my inventory and how I organize because you have to do it at some point. You cannot let it go get out of hand. So I will link uh, somewhere on the screen um, my organizing video so you can take a look. Should I organize my closet by categories or should I mix it up? That is up to you. Uh, my closet is mixed up and in my opinion when you mix up things it keeps the customers guessing and wondering what comes next. It's just a matter of preference. Um, I try however to take good pictures as a, a first impression is very important. Keep in mind that when you're sharing or editing an item, that item goes on the top of the closet. You can organize by categories like tops, dresses, pants, um, shoes, bags, or by color um, as an example. If you like your setup and want to keep uh, your closet in the same order, you have to share your items from the bottom to the top always. Um, the down part is that when you are posting your items, you have to rearrange and share strategically in order to uh, fall with your new item in the right category. Uh, quick tip, you can use the filter feature to organize by uh, category, uh, size or style or color uh, for that matter. I am sending offers to likers but don't want to give shipping discounts because my prices are low as it is. How can I go around that? Mm. Sending an offer to a customer that liked your item on Poshmark forces you to give a minimum of, I think it's $5.95 shipping discount, which comes from your pocket. You can get around that by placing the item in a bundle for your liker and send offer from there. You don't have to give a shipping discount if you work with a bundle. And that works even if you send offer in a bundle for one single item. Why am I ghosted by likers? First of all, don't take it personal. Most of the buyers that like the items um, either expect the seller to send them an offer, get distracted by endless browsing and forget where they saw the item they liked, or are new to the site and treat Poshmark like Instagram <laughs> where liking items is just a general courtesy or a visual impulse. There can be multiple reasons of course and the best way to deal with this is either send the liker an offer or bundle all the items they liked um, if it's more than one and within five or ten minutes send them an offer or a message without being too pushy <laughs> but if but uh, you want to catch them while they're still online and browsing so um, someone told me they cannot afford it at the moment and they mark the item to find it later uh, through the liked items or uh, shop your bundle feature just remember there is a reason why they don't communicate with you and the best thing you can do is just send a message and wait for the response. And uh, if not, well, move on. <laughs> What's up with all the lowball offers lately? Yeah, again, there could be many reasons why someone is offering you just a fraction of a price on the item they like. And please don't be so quick to judge. Most of the times I get frustrated myself but uh, there could be a good reason behind it, like the economy, a reseller wanting to source in your closet um, and trying to keep the cost of goods as low as possible. All you have to do is counter with your lowest and best offer uh, price and hope for the best. Don't block the person as they might not be able to afford that item at that point, but maybe they come back and purchase um, at your offered price <laughs> later. Just be polite and wish them the best, but stand firm on your lowest offer because because ultimately we're here to resell and make a profit. What so is trading and how do I do it on Poshmark? Basically, uh, you will trade item for item at the same value decided by both traders. When you are ready to do the transaction, you both price that item listing at $3 um, and buy it from each other 
pack and ship the item. This has to be done at the same time. You cannot just buy it today and the other person buys it tomorrow. It has to be done at the same time, especially since a uh, buyer and seller probably don't know each other and uh, there's no trust relationship there. And this is the basic of trading, uh, but you have to keep in mind that uh, when you are doing this, you're doing it at your own risk because Posh Protect, this is the program that protects um, buyers and sellers um, policy does not cover trades within the system and the buyer or seller must pay the standard shipping fee for such trades. Um, some sellers have a really good reputation at trades and you can go in their bio and read all the reviews. I would do some research before taking the leap and trading with someone. Uh, make sure to ask lots of questions about the condition of the item, any flaws and any dimensions that you might need. If you get a message from someone that's asking you to trade and you would rather sell the item just simply tell them that you're open to offers uh, but do not uh, do trades in your closet can you hold this item until next week how to deal with this question from clients i don't want to lose a sale and um, if someone is asking this how do i deal with it well it's up to you but usually this does not result in a sale at least for me it never happened i used to put the item in not for sale mode uh, blocking it for a week from other shoppers to find and buy the item and the client who requested it never came back to purchase it when this happens i usually tell them i have active offers on the item and cannot edit the listing or the item is cross-listed on another platform or um, and I do not guarantee it won't sell within the uh, time frame they ask for. How to cancel an accidental purchase? This seems to be happening a lot, especially in the live or silent shows and they never contest it unless the item is already shipped. Shipped orders cannot be canceled. Orders placed through an offer um, are final sale and cannot be canceled as an accidental purchase. Best thing to do is communicate with your buyer or seller about the purchase. If it's not already shipped, you can uh, go to your main panel, to your purchases or your sales. Click on problems, order inquiries, um, select accidental purchase or buyer changed his mind or her mind click yes um, and this will cancel the purchase if the item is already shipped the buyer uh, can open a return case with Poshmark but that's going to be a difficult road pro tip don't ship the item as a seller um, earlier than three hours from purchase um, that's how long a buyer has to cancel the order uh, if they change their mind or if it's an accidental purchase I hope you found some answers today to your questions please let me know in the comments if you need more details or if you have any other questions i will try to do a q a video at least once a month please subscribe and like this video if you found it useful and if you are looking for more information about poshmark or clever tips and tricks about reselling watch the video i linked up above Thank you so much for watching till the end. I really, really appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye.